One of the great things about limits are their properties. Everything that you want to have happen, happens. So for example, if you have the sum of two functions in your limit, you can break this up. Take the limit of your first function and then add the limit of your second function. That's perfectly allowed. The same thing goes for subtraction. Multiplication? Absolutely. The limit of f times g is the limit of f times the limit of g. Now keep in mind that limits are the only thing in calculus that follow that property. Derivatives don't do that. And neither do integrals. So this is a huge, major, awesome thing for limits that you can pull apart multiplied functions and just take the limit of each of those functions. The same thing goes for division as well. If you have a function divided by a function, just take the limit of the top, the limit of the bottom, and then just divide those two limits together. Boom. Everything's awesome. Now, where does this really come into play? Well, one of the functions, one of the limits that you should absolutely memorize is the following. The limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x we saw this back in the original video, the very first video for limits, but this is equal to 1 as a reminder. Memorize this because this is the only limit that does not follow the three rules for taking limits. This one you just have to have memorized. But once you have it memorized, you can pull it out and use it whenever you want to. So, for example, let's take the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x times cosine of x all over x. Well, we know the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x. So we can pull that out. Let's rewrite this as the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x times the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine of x. Well, the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x, we know that that's 1. The limit as x approaches 0 of cosine of x, let's plug it in, that's step 1. Cosine of 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And so we can find limits by breaking them up, putting them together, and we can be very creative about how we break up our limits.